God's answer to suffering. 2 Corinthians 1 3. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. Matthew 5 4. Best are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Psalm 119 50. My comfort in my suffering is this, your promise preserves my life. John 16 20. Very truly I tell you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will turn to joy. John 16 33. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Romans 15, 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Psalm 27, 13 through 14. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Romans 8, 2, 8. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Job 5, 11. The low he sets on high, and those who mourn are lifted to safety. Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 8. There is a time for everything, and a season for every activity under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. Romans 8:37 37 and 3 8. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Psalm 119.76 May your unfailing love be my comfort, according to your promise to your servant. Isaiah 61, 1 and 2. The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to come for all who mourn. Isaiah 66, 13. As a mother comforts her child, so will I comfort you, and you will be comforted over Jerusalem. Hebrews 13, 5. I will never leave you or forsake you. 